The fourth race swings into the stretch. It's the Ontario Sire Stakes Gold Final. $100,000 purse. Here they come. There, off and trotting, Amnesiac and Acolyte Moore leaving hard on the outside. Rags to Riches is off stride, leaving out of there. Carland Buddy has jetted directly to the lead. White Sand Titan is out near the front. Then to the outside for Amnesiac, Acolyte Moore going off stride. Electrical Image was in a tight spot. Now inheriting fifth, following through was total mayhem into the first turn, and Duke of York has eased away in sixth position. That is Coco Loco Hanover from seventh. Monsieur Rene Levesque went on a break. Also on a second break, into the first turn, rags to riches, and landing back down trotting electrical image was trailing. It's Carland Buddy and Jim McClure taking no prisoners off stride from second when White Sand Titan. Here's Amnesiac coming on to be second now, and Total Mayhem inherits third. Moving up fourth on the outside on the way to the half, and getting closer to the leaders is Acolyte Moore. Duke of York is in a stalking position. He's now up into the top five. White Sand Titan went on a break. And after breaks in the backfield, out of contention are Coco Loco Hanover, rags to Riches, Electrical Image, and Monsieur René Levesque out of contention 59 and 4 was the half Carl Land Buddy. Leading into the final turn, joined by Stablemate Total Mayhem, down to three quarters, Amnesiac is on the inside third, and Duke of York is in a great spot, second over from fourth Acolyte Moore, sits on the inside into the top five, the gapping trailers are Coco Loco Hanover, Rags to Riches, Electrical Image, and White Sand Titan, Monsieur René Levesque was distanced, the front five though are very tightly grouped at the head of the stretch. Duke of York from second over is being shown clear track. He's out around Total Mayhem and Carland Buddy. They pass three quarters in 131 and it's a big time stretch sprint that's on now and here comes Paul McDonnell with Duke of York from a textbook second over trip blasting clear of the field now. It's Duke of York trotting strong through the stretch to bring home the Ontario Sire Stakes gold final. Duke of York wins it by two. Carland Buddy second, Amnesiac was third, Total Mayhem fourth, and Acolyte Moore was fifth. Duke of York captures the gold in two minutes and two. The winner of the fourth race, the Ontario Sire Stakes Gold Final, returned to Mohawk's winner circle, Duke of York. Balanced image, two-year-old Bay Colt from Armbro Monarch. Owned by L. Libfeld, Marvin Katz, and Sam Goldband of Pickering in Toronto. Trained by John Bax and driven to victory by Paul McDonnell. The third win in nine starts this year. Two minutes and two fifths to capture the gold final. Duke of York. Our thanks to Jim Clark and Rod Davidson for assisting with the winner circle presentation of the Ontario Sire Stakes Gold Final Trophy and Blanket. To Duke of York and Connections. Welcome back to the Winner's Circle. Paul McDonnell and John Bax team up. Uh, disappointing night for you guys last night when Pepe Levesque made a break, uh, one of the favorites in last night's gold final. But uh, a little bit of redemption here this evening as Duke of York puts it all together. Cole turned in a good effort last week uh, compared to tonight's win to last week's win. Uh, just as good. Uh, he was real good last week. And uh, once again tonight, uh, he was uh, real good again. Any concerns at any point in the mile, Paul? Well, early in the race, there was two or three breakers that uh, seemed to be clogging up uh, our path. But... Uh, after we cleared them, it was pretty much straight sailing, uh, second over trip, and uh, after that, he was strong down the lane. What about the three quarters of the race? Uh, Jim McClure was able to back into it as he had his stable mate up alongside him at that point. Uh, were you confident that this Colt was going to be able to kick on like he did last week? Yeah, he felt real good around the last turn, and uh, you know, I figured they'd w really have to trot a good last quarter to beat him. I mean, I, I had him wrapped up pretty much the whole last quarter and never let him trot out. Still got some big engagements coming up at the end of the year. Uh, any word as to where he goes next? Uh, there's talk of the Breeders' Crown or uh, there's a Golden London next time. So uh, I don't know which one he'll be going to, but uh, wherever he goes, I don't imagine he'll disappoint anyone. All right, looks like the Colts got all the qualities. Big league connections, a big league pedigree, and a big motor. Good luck with them the rest of the way. Thank you. Okay, Paul McDonnell takes the OSS Gold along with trainer John Bax and partners Lipfeld, Katz, and Goldman. Duke of York is the king of the... OSS division for this evening with a two minute and two performance, just a fifth of a second off his lifetime best.